Hello everyone. I am Dr. Parag Bhargat. I am a consultant pediatric cardiologist working in Mumbai at Sujoth Heart Clinic. You can check my credentials at sujothheartclinic.com. Today I wish to discuss with you about what is spittle echo and when it should be done. What are the indications for the same? Let's first understand what is spittle echo. Fetus means baby in mother's womb. And fetal echo means echocardiographic examination of baby's heart. This examination is a vital information uses vital information about heart of the fetus, like structure, function, and any other congenital heart defects. What the heart defects in baby are so important? Let's understand. Close to one in hundred babies are born with congenital heart defects. Their heart is not functioning normally or their is not working normally. <clears throat> a significant percent of them requires surgery within first week or first month of life. For parents, if they come to know that a newborn baby has got a heart defect and it's surgery, it's a not only a major financial problem but also a major mental undertaking. Also, if these babies are discharged from nursery without diagnosis, they are at risk of developing complications and death. A small percentage of babies with complex heart defect have got very poor prognosis and they may not survive even with best possible medical care. Thus, fetal echo offers an opportunity to diagnose this defect well in time when the baby is in mother's womb. What are the benefits of doing fetal echo? If the test is normal, parents are assured and they feel relaxed that baby doesn't have any major heart problem. The delivery of baby can be carried out at a place which is convenient to obstetrician and family. If test is abnormal, then we can plan pregnancy at a setup where baby can be given emergency medical aid. And these are the few centers where neonatal cardiac facilities are available. Parents also can prepare financially and mentally for the planned medical intervention, surgery or catheter intervention, whatever required for the newborn. It also prevents late diagnosis of the heart defects and complication due to the same. Parents and obstetrician can also decide whether they want to continue with the pregnancy if the heart defect is very complex and does not have a good long-term prognosis. Another question that frequently asked is whether this test is safe or not. Let me clarify this test is absolutely safe. These tests work on principle of sound waves. It does not have any adverse effect on fetus and mother. This test does not involve any use of radiation as in CT scan or X-ray. What is the best time to do procedure? Standard time to do this procedure is 18 weeks to 22 weeks. 18 weeks corresponds to four months and seven days of gestation. In very high risk cases, this test can be done at 14 to 16 weeks also. If there is a suspicion in third trimester say eight month or nine month, at that time also we can do this test and come to a definitive diagnosis. Should every mother undergo this test? Ideally, yes, every mother should go and every fetus has to be tested, but it is not possible because logistic reasons. So we look for some high risk factors. If they are present, then we subject those mother for test. A basic heart evaluation is done in every fetus at the time of anomaly scan. Now let's see which are the high risk factors. High risk factors means those cases where there is more than 2% risk of having heart defect in baby. Most important is diabetes mellitus in mother, which is present before the mother has conceived or it is present in first trimester. Another important factor is maternal phenylketonuria. Then maternal autoantibodies like SSA, SSB, these are seen if mother is having certain set of 
autoimmune conditions like Sjogren's syndrome, systemic lupus erythematosus, or rheumatoid arthritis. Maternal medications like ACE inhibitors, atonic acid, NSAIDs. First trimester rubella infection of mother. The rubella infection is very uncommon due to immunization. There is a possibility of fetal myocarditis. Assisted reproduction technique it includes in vitro fertilization or IUI. If any fam member in your family is having heart disease like mother and father or any sibling, then the risk of having heart disease in fetus is very high. If anybody in the family has got a major congenital problem or irritated Mendelian problem, the risk of heart disease is also very high. During evaluation, if it is found that baby has got some another extra cardiac problem like kidney, intestine or brain, then it makes sense to evaluate the heart of the baby. Abnormal karyotyping of the baby, fetus, fetal tachycardia or bradycardia, increased nuchal translucency more than 3 mm, monocaryonic twinning, and fetus hydro. These are few other indications. <laughs> Intermediate risk means the risk is between 1 to 2 percent. This includes maternal in medications like anticonvulsants, lithium, vitamin A, paroxetin, and sets in first or second trimester. Heart disease is second degree relative of the fetus, fetal abnormality of the umbilical cord or placenta, fetal intra-abdominal venous anomalies, low risk means risk equal to general population. In this case is maternal gestational diabetes. Gestational diabetes means a diabetes that sets in after 15 to 20 weeks of gestation and a glucose is well controlled, which is less than 6%. Maternal medication other than peroxetin, vitamin K, agonist. <coughs> Maternal infection other than rubella with pseudoconversion only. And heart disease in relatives which are not first and second degree, but third degree or more having heart disease. Thank you for your valuable time.